Hi, I'm Renee and I'm a line chef at Crave Restaurant and this is Simply Local. Simply Local is about taking our favorite Trimbegonian dishes and turning them into something fantastic. Here I take simple ingredients and prepare them by giving them a local twist. Hey guys, welcome back to Simply Local. So today we're going to do something fun and tasty. It's sauce, guys. Now, sauce is one of my favorite things to have around Christmas time. My Uncle Gary makes the best sauce, the best sauce. We're going to try to reach his level today, but I don't know. I'm just going to give you this recipe and it's going to, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. His level is it's amazing, but today our own is going to be great, right? So typical ingredients that we have for sauce, we have green seasoning, we have salt, black pepper, we have celery, some onions, we have shadow benny, we have pimento. Now guys, you know I don't like pepper, but Monka guy is naked with the pepper and the taste around good. So we're gonna use the pepper today, right? We have garlic, we have lime, cucumber, and the main ingredients, we have pig foot. So now to start this, we're gonna use a pressure cooker today because a pressure cooker cooks it evenly and faster. Right, so have your pressure cooker boiling with the water in it and you're going to clean your pig feet, right? I actually just bought this from the grocery store or you can buy it from your local uh, market, right? And you're just going to soak it in some lime. I have one lime here and uh, some water. You just want to soak it in lime and water, right? So to the hot water, the boiling water, I'm just going to add the pig foot. So just add your pig feet to the water. And to this, we're gonna add some seasoning. Now, you could have your seasoning anyway. For my seasoning, I put some garlic, I have some shadow benny, pimento, I have some celery there as well, and I have some thyme as well. Just give it a little mix. Add salt. And we're gonna add some black pepper. So, like I said, we're using a pressure cooker today and it's actually gonna make it much easier to cook and it'll be nice and soft and tender, right? So you're gonna have this on your pressure cooker for 20 to 30 minutes, right? And we're gonna check it back after that. In the meantime, you could actually get all your other ingredients ready for that, right? So what I'm gonna do is chop all the vegetables that we're gonna use for it and all the herbs. Right guys, so while this is boiling, we're gonna cut up the rest of the ingredients. So I have cucumbers here. Now, the, the thinner the cucumber, the better it is. Um, so you just wanna get nice thin slices. Keep cutting it, like about this thin. Okay, so after we cut the cucumbers, you're gonna cut up the shadow benny, right? And you're gonna tie it to get it as fine as possible. Now for me, I like a lot, a lot of shadow benny in uh, my sauce. So I try to put a good, sufficient amount. Okay guys, so it's been cooking for 30 minutes now. And we're just gonna give it a quick check and see if it's nice and tender. So just pick up one. And you see, once you know it's falling off the bone, it's really nice and it's soft to touch, it's ready. When you're actually boiling pork, it actually has a lot of oils in it. So what you have to do, you have to wash it thoroughly. So I'm gonna give it like three to four washes in cold water, right? So I've washed this about three to four times, guys, just to get out all that excess oil. But make sure and keep the water that the um, pig feet were boiling in because that's actually really great stock for a soup that you can make, right? So make sure and keep it. Right, so guys, it's really simple from this part on. Really, really simple. So to the pig's feet, we're gonna add all the rest of seasonings, right? And we're gonna add some water. So I have my shadow benny here. I have my celery. I have the pepper. I have a hot pepper. You guys know I don't like hot pepper, but I'm doing it for the sake of, of traditional sauce. <laughs> Right, I have garlic, I have salt and black pepper, right, and you're going to put enough water to cover the pig's feet. I actually like a lot of liquid in my sauce as well, so you're just putting it just enough to cover it, right, you're going to add your cucumbers, 
and onion. Now I like the little crunch of the cucumber and the onion brings to the dish. So you're just gonna mix that together, right? And guys, for me, what really brings a sauce together is the lime, right? Make sure you get all that lime juice in because trust me, it's gonna make a difference. Right guys, that's how easy it is to make sauce. Now comes the hard part. I know, you have to wait. It actually has to marinate, or what we like to call here in Trinidad, kusume, right? It actually has to kusume for at least two hours, at least two hours, right? But it's actually better if you can leave it overnight and eat it in the morning, right? And guys, all you have to do is just cover it down and just let it, like I said, kusume for about two to four hours, right? And it's that easy. So what are you gonna do before you do that actually? Just taste it to see. Well, guys, the pepper. <laughs> Just taste it to see if it has enough salt and pepper in it because when it's actually going to be kusumin, all the meat is going to absorb that flavor. Even the cucumbers is going to absorb the flavor that is in it, right? So you're just going to cover it down and just let it sit. And it's that simple, guys. All right, guys, so I have my sauce soaking here for about four hours, right? So it's been kusumin for about four hours, right? And already, the smell that I'm getting fit, all the lime and everything, all the seasoning, it smells amazing, guys, right? So, moment of truth. I'm gonna scoop myself out some. So I'm gonna taste the liquid first because I really like the liquid. Guys, guys, I didn't reach Uncle Gary level yet, but when you try this, you will enjoy it. Now for pepper lovers, y'all could add more pepper. You know, you guys know that I don't love pepper, but this is really good. And I love the fact the cucumbers are in it. It's really nice and tender, but it still has like a crunch to it, so it adds a nice texture. I'm gonna get a piece of the pig foot here and taste him. Mmm. <laughs> it's nice and soft and tender. It's really good, guys. Mmm. So guys, as always, I love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments, how do you like your sauce, right? Some people don't like the pig foot, but I really love the pig foot. Let me know what you use. If you use cow heel or if you use chicken foot, if you like all the cucumbers and all the spices, like I said again, you can make it spicier. You could, you could add no spices really up to you. Also, let me know what you eat it with. Like I said, I love to eat it with my granny's hop spread. So as always, you can find the full recipe on eatafoodtt.com or you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Right guys, so let me know how you did it. Until next time, bye.